also big trouble on the Donald Trump side of the equation here. Um, CNN has now released the audio of something we've been told before that Donald Trump, well, has been, has been charged with uh, holding classified documents that he shouldn't have, refusing to give them back, has been charged, he's pleaded not guilty. But now comes a tape recording of him two years ago telling a writer of a biography, a publisher and two of his staff, hey, look, I've actually got these uh, top secret documents in front of me. Um, I can't declassify them, uh, but here, have a look at what they say. Well, with Millie, uh, let me see that. I'll show you an example. He said that I wanted to attack Iran. Isn't it amazing? I have a big pile of papers. This thing just came up. Look. This was him. They presented me this. This is off the record, but they presented me this. This was him. This was the Defense Department and him. Wow. We looked at some. This was him. This wasn't done by me. This was him. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. It's pages long. Look. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. I just found, isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential yeah. <laughs> secret. I mean, these are documents he's talking about that are from the military, about military war plans, and he's going through it with strangers. I mean, what do you make of this? Yeah, this is going to be problematic if the evidence turns out to be true. This is obviously a very important piece of evidence to the prosecutors. Uh, what uh, you don't know is what documents he is actually showing. Now, there is some belief that the prosecutors have, have interviewed some of the other people in that room. If they corroborate what the prosecutors are trying to prove, that's going to be very, very difficult for President, former President Trump to overcome. He obviously has said that they, they are not the classified documents. Uh, you know, only the people in that room really know. But at the same time, what is interesting about this is here is a key piece of evidence that somehow gets into the hands of CNN and leaks out, where with the Hunter Biden stuff, it takes years for the FBI and DOJ to even remotely begin an investigation. So what you're seeing, Andrew, is really uh, kind of a, a you know, the, the, uh, the court of to two different uh, perspectives, the court of public opinion and the court of law. And both Hunter Biden and President Trump are both having different experiences. Uh, and particularly with the court of public opinion, President Trump is doing really well. He's up in the polls substantially, almost in every key state, and he's doing a uh, tremendous amount of fundraising. Uh, where the court of law, DOJ seems to be weaponized against him, and they're going to make sure that they try uh, to take him down before the reelection.